Ukrainian President Attends Shangri-La Dialogue 2024 in Singapore Final phase of India's general elections. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expresses confidence in winning. E-commerce platforms are required to declare and pay taxes on behalf of businesses. Hello everyone, you are watching today's news and TV channel. My name is Dan. Let's get started. Ukrainian President Zelensky visited Singapore and delivered a speech at 2024 Sangrila Dialogue Security Conference. His presence was considered one of the highlights of the dialogue. In his speech at the Shangri-La Dialogue on the morning of June 2, he called for global support, including from Asia, for a peace plan to end the conflict with Russia. The Ukrainian president urged world leaders to help Ukraine end the conflict with Russia, which has now entered its third year. Time is running out as Russia is launching a new offensive. Zelensky stated that the participation of Southeast Asian countries would be very important. Before speaking at the Shangri-La Dialogue, Zelensky had a series of meetings with leaders from Indonesia, the United States, and Timor-Leste. Zelensky arrived in Singapore at the same time as Russia's largest missile and drone attack in over three weeks, targeting critical infrastructure in Ukraine. Recently, Indian Prime Minister Modi expressed his confidence to return to power after the conclusion of the seventh phase, also the final phase of more than six-week-long general election in India. Exit polls indicate that Modi is on track for victory, and Modi himself is certain of his lead, expressing confidence that the people of India have voted in record numbers to re-elect his government. A poll conducted by CNN News 18 shows that Modi's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, and its allies are expected to secure 355 seats, significantly higher than the 272 seats needed for a majority in the Lok Sabha. However, such forecasts have previously proven unreliable in a country with nearly 1 billion eligible voters. Therefore, everything will become clear once the official vote count results are announced. The Ministry of Finance has just announced a regulation requiring e-commerce platforms to pay taxes on behalf of businesses. In the era of digital economy development, e-commerce (EC) business has become popular and diverse. The tax department has introduced several solutions to enhance tax management for EC activities. One such solution is the proposal to require organizations that own EC platforms to declare and pay taxes on behalf of individual businesses operating on their platforms. This solution contributes to the reform of administrative procedures, reduces the number of tax declarations, and helps lower compliance costs for society as a whole. Instead of tens of thousands of individuals declaring taxes directly, only one entity, the EC platform, would need to declare and pay taxes on their behalf. Additionally, EC platforms possess comprehensive information about buyers, successful sales transactions, and the revenue and expenses of organizations and individuals providing goods and services. Therefore, the EC platform can handle tax declarations and payments on behalf of its users. Coming up next are some updated news. The 500 kV Kwong Track Fa Noi Circuit 3 project is a critical and urgent project that must be completed by June to ensure electricity supply for the northern region from this year's hot season onwards. Due to the exhaustion of resources by construction contractors and the limited construction time remaining, coupled with the significant amount of work yet to be done, the Vietnam Electricity Group EVN, has mobilized over 1,500 engineers and workers from its five power corporations to support this critical project. Specifically, the Northern Power Corporation has mobilized 28 teams with over 300 staff members. During his visit to encourage and boost the morale of engineers and workers involved in the project, 
The chairman of EBN requested each power corporation to step up efforts to overcome difficulties with the highest determination to complete the erection of poles and cable installation according to schedule. According to Booking.com, the destination that Vietnamese travelers are searching for and booking the most from June 15 to August 15 is Da Nang. Da Nang is attracting domestic tourists thanks to many appealing activities, especially the Da Nang International Fireworks Festival 2024, which is scheduled to take place from June 8 to July 13 along Han River. In addition, a series of events accompanying this festival are also expected to be organized on a large scale, with attractive content ranging from exhibitions to art and cultural performances across Da Nang. The other destinations that are highly chosen by travelers of their summer vacation this year is up to Da Nang, are Ho Chi Minh City, Nha Trang, Đà Lạt, Hội An, Hà Nội, Vũng Tàu, Phú Quốc, Hạ Long, and Quy Nhơn. Over the past 22 years, the Support for Exam Season program has been annually renewed with the motto, Support from Early, From Afar, Support Through Digital Technologies, including organizing both direct and online support activities such as review sessions, exam preparation, morale boosting, and psychological counseling for candidates. The Support for Exam Season program and the Red Flamboyant campaign have engaged in numerous meaningful and practical activities, contributing to inspiring and empowering millions of students entering each exam period. The program runs from April to August, with the peak period from June 27 to June 30, 2024. In recent years, many parents have shown great interest in the trend of experiential learning. They chose this method to help their children develop comprehensively. Nowadays, young students can learn freely in their parents' spaces, making them more enthusiastic about their education. The learning process is not confined to the classroom. It's also about exploration and real-life experiences for students through various activities. Experiential learning not only helps children naturally access knowledge but also encourages curiosity, creativity, and the development of life skills. Children greatly enjoy participating in experiential activities. Today I'm here to participate in activities like pottery making and making dinosaurs. I feel that these activities are very enjoyable and beneficial. They make me feel happy, and I've gained more knowledge about dinosaurs and pottery. With a variety of experiential classes, children are free to choose activities they enjoy. They can express their personalities, show themselves, and become more confident and comfortable, adapting well to the innovative social environment. Children will be participating in an environment where they engage in hands-on activities, such as pottery making, casting statues, and painting. For example, while in the steam park garden, they will explore the history of species like dinosaurs, search for fossils, and play firefighter. Let children get dirty in the way they want. They will learn many things from multi-sensory experiences, and they will find answers to their questions. Create opportunities for children to interact and engage with the world around them to enhance confidence, boldness, and broaden their understanding of the outside world. This is the end of the show today. Thank you for watching.